the mind needs a place to rest. It's bombarded all the time by sight, sound, smell, taste, tactile sensations, and its own ideas. And if it doesn't have a place to rest, it gets overcome by these things. This is why we focus on the breath. Even though we're still thinking, we're thinking about something that is calming for the mind, healing for the mind. It's not too much you have to think about. Just is the breath coming in? Is the breath going out? Is it comfortable? If it's not comfortable, what can I do to change it? That's it. That's all you have to think about. All the other issues of the world you can put aside. It's not that you're being irresponsible. You will have to pick up some of those issues after the meditation. But it doesn't mean you have to carry them around all the time. Or like that old grandmother in the old Thai story who carries around a big load of hay in case that someday she may need a load of hay, so she has it on her back all the time. We're perfectly capable of putting the hay down. And picking it up only when we need to. That's a skill we need to learn. As I would have said, one of the skills of meditation is to learn how to think the thoughts you want to think and not think the thoughts you don't want to think. That also involves knowing what's worth thinking about and what's not worth thinking about. The mind can tell you all kinds of things. You've got to worry about this, you've got to think about that. You don't have to believe that. There are times when you can put the, the affairs of the world down and just look after the affairs of the mind. That's what the meditation is for. And actually being extra responsible, because when you have rested like this, then the mind is more capable of handling things well. So tell yourself, I'm doing what I should for the world right now by training my mind, giving the mind a place to rest, and putting it in a position where it can better see what's worth thinking, what's not worth thinking, and how to sidestep the thoughts that are not worth thinking, and how to stop thinking the thoughts that are worth thinking when they've done their job. Is there anything else that comes up right now aside from issues of the breath? You just put it aside, put it aside. And no matter how much the parts of the mind may complain that you're being irresponsible or you're not caring, whatever, you don't have to listen. You've believed those voices for far too long. Now's the time to believe the voice of the Buddha. It says the mind needs to be trained, that the trained mind is what brings happiness. to listen to his message for a while, and you'll find that you benefit. <laughs>